And the other thing that hasn't changed, Joe, and you would see this in football, as I've seen it in other areas of life, all the circumstances change. All the nature of the, uh, the way things are done changes. But a football team still wins the game by understanding blocking and tackling and the basics. The fundamentals never change. The, 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 all of the different kind of plays may work and all the things you do to make the game more sophisticated today. But the fundamentals you've got to get right. And there's certain fundamentals about life. And one of those fundamentals is that we are stubborn, we're rebellious, we think we know it all, and as you get older you realize you really didn't know much then, and you don't know that much more now, you realize the little humility of age, uh, how little you really knew about life. But you've got to get it right, you've got to understand that God made us, what's your option? That we're just spinning here on this planet with no purpose? And I look around the beauty of this place and I say to myself, that's impossible. Can this be some cosmic accident? We make all these space probes, we look at the planets out there, we see no sign of life. Here is life and the incredible sophistication. Your body is made up of cells, billions of cells. Everyone is programmed for its functions by a DNA, which Bill Gates says is more sophisticated than any software he's ever developed. The human body is programmed by intelligence. Intelligence doesn't come about by chance. So you know there's a God. So, okay, get that straight first. Second, you gotta understand yourself. That's the fundamental of life. And we're born with a disposition to take care of ourselves. Most dangerous person in the world is a young baby who's grabbing and clutching, and doesn't know what they're doing, but they wanna grab things for themselves. And it's the way we're made. And, and so our culture is merely a reflection of us. When you see all the ads on television wanting to pander to our worst instincts, it's because we want to have our worst instincts panted to. So get smart about who you are and then realize that God created us with a free will so we could do what we wanted to do and be free agents and we could choose right or choose wrong and we've chosen wrong but he takes care of that by giving us his son and that's what Christianity is. It is his son coming to deliver us from bondage to our own sin, to break the reign of Satan in our lives. And most people, if they get honest with themselves, know that they don't like what's inside. You know, I was one of those guys who succeeded at everything, and I thought I was pretty good. And I figured God is gonna be like any good college professor, he's gonna, he's gonna grade on a curve. <laughs> uh, you know, as against other guys, I didn't uh, do anything as well. I'm, I'm lucky he doesn't. <laughs> yeah, right, so am I. Before I was a Christian, I used to figure, I'll get into heaven because I haven't done anything worse than anybody else, and God is like a professor who grades on a curve, and I'll do fine. I didn't do anything in politics the Democrats hadn't done before us, so I'll be okay. Well, it's a totally wrong view because it is your nature. It's not what you've done so much as it is what you talked about before. Human nature never changes. We're bent towards ill. We fall short evil. We're bent towards evil. We fall short of the glory of God. And that's what sin is. It comes from the term of archery, where the arrow fell short. And uh, we just, every human being does. But you gotta get that moment in your life where you're honest with yourself and realize, whoa, I wanna not be the way I am. I wanna be clean. Uh, that was what I cried out to God in the midst of the dark days of Watergate when I could see things crumbling around me and everything I'd work for. And I thought to myself, I was part of this. It really stabbed me. It was like a knife. Hmm. And my God, he did stab me, and he will stab people. He, people watching this will be stabbed thinking about themselves because I will say right now, there isn't anybody watching who doesn't have sinful desires in his own mind.